Hi there, Dr. Andrea Schnowski from Freedom Chiropractic and Holistic Health in the Peoria Metro Center and our YouTube channel, Health and Horsepower. I am coming to you today to talk a little bit more about headaches. You may have watched our video last week where we were talking about three common reasons that we can have headaches, and now I'm diving down deep into each and every single one of those. So one of the really important things to understand is that when it comes to headaches, we can actually have biomechanical issues that are causing the joints and the muscles and the ligaments not to move properly, and that can cause not only adhesions or scar tissue in those ligaments that restrict that motion for a very long time and make it difficult for that joint to move properly, and that can also contribute to arthritis, but we can also have muscle tension and ligament adhesions that can also contribute to blood flow issues that can also contribute to headaches as well. So one of the most important things to understand is jaw alignment issues or uh, if you're getting popping, clicking, snapping in your jaw when you're chewing or opening your mouth, that can indicate that you do have an issue in the jaw itself. Your lower jaw is actually held onto your skull by muscles and ligaments only. So that means that that lower jaw actually opens down and glides forward across that joint. So if any of those muscles or ligaments are tight, or if we have, say, muscles that are working harder on one side than the other, the jaw itself will move sideways and actually can wear and tear and cause those muscles and ligaments not to work properly. When we have muscles not working evenly, one side can be tighter than the other. That can tense up, restrict blood flow, and that can contribute to headaches. Typically when we're having jaw pain, a lot of times we may hear popping, clicking, snapping. We may notice it's difficult when we open our jaw where it kind of seems like it locks up and doesn't want to move properly. But typically I will see more issues with like tension headaches. So like pain in the temple, forehead area, maybe even over the ears, or a lot of times we can also see some problems in the jaw area too, where we have muscle tension in the upper neck and jaw. So that's a big issue is if that jaw is not moving properly, it can cause muscle imbalances, ligament imbalances, and blood flow problems. Another thing to think about is when we have problems going on with that, in my office typically we do a full assessment, so we're looking at your neck, we're looking at your jaw, we're looking at all of the bones of your face as well as all the bones of your skull, making sure they're all working properly, making sure the muscles overlying those are working properly so your body can properly move and drain and we have blood flow moving where it's supposed to. So typically in our office, jaw issues are a huge factor. Um, like I said, if that has muscle tension or other issues going on, that can be a big factor. So hopefully you learned something today. Tune in next week. We're going to talk a little bit more about that second reason uh, that we don't or that we see a lot of times in our office for headaches that may have been overlooked by your doctor. Have a great week.